Yo, what's going on everyone? This is Zach with IT Career Questions. Today we're going to do a quick overview of the Project Ares gaming platform. Stay tuned. So before I begin today's video, I want to make sure that you guys know that I will be live streaming the Game of Titans Championship in Las Vegas at the Esports Arena that's housed within the uh, Luxor Hotel and Casino. That is next Tuesday, August 7th from 6 p.m. to about 10-ish p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So make sure you hit that live stream because we're going to be interviewing people and they're going to be answering your questions. I'll be answering your questions and we'll be showing you what's going on at this event. It's going to be super exciting. So let's get into this game so that uh, we can tell you just a little bit about it. This screen right here is the main screen that you'll get as soon as you log into the game. This is all your different missions. You have red and blue, which is going to signify offensive and defensive. And you can go into these and it basically what's going to happen is as soon as you get into it, it's going to give you objectives on different things that you need to do. And then you actually start within that mission. You're going to do some reconnaissance. So you're going to get, gather information about your target's network, your target servers, and then you move forward throughout that mission and complete those objectives. It's going to give you some real life scenarios where they get into botnets. They could talk about malware. Uh, they talk about different intrusions and things like that, and you need to actually learn how to defend your network, or maybe you're trying to um, counter that in some way. So this is really cool in that aspect, and these different missions that they give you, what I think is the most amazing thing about this is a lot of them will spin up like 100 different virtual machines, which is insane. So you log into this, you start one of these missions, and within your session, you have like 100 virtual machines spinning up just for you so that you can complete some of these missions. That tells you how intense this game actually gets. And to me, completely mind-blowing. It's amazing. So another really exciting part about Project Ares is they're coming out with a, an, an add-on to it, which is called Orion. This lets you actually build missions. So if you are in an enterprise environment, you can build a mission that really would correlate to exactly what you want your team to know. Another really cool thing about this is the fact that you are actually able to take a snapshot of your entire environment and you'll be able to incorporate that into Project Ares. So you are actually going to be learning from your own type of cloned environment. So you're going to have you know, the same servers, same IPs, and things like that. So that way, it really makes a lot of sense when you're learning how to defend your enterprise business. Having that type of feature that you are able to implement your, a copy of your enterprise into this game is insane. Like you're able to then learn from your exact environment. You're going to have your same servers and IPs and things like that. And that is going to be crucial to an enterprise who needs to learn about cybersecurity because that everything's going to make more sense to your employees or uh, your end users or whoever the case may be that you're trying to teach about this when you are using your own servers and your own different types of uh, networking. So another really cool thing about Project Ares is with the the with so so. Uh, so so another really cool thing about this is that you will actually be able to take a snapshot of your business environment and you can actually import that into Project Ares so that you are actually learning off of your own environment. It's You have that complete clone, so you have your servers and IPs, your different switches and how all of those are set up. So then you can actually defend your own network. You're learning from your own network. So for your employees and your coworkers and things like that, everything is going to make a little bit more sense when you see your server and what's going on and how each of those uh, different uh, type of tools and things work to either you know go down that offensive route against your environment or that defensive route on your environment. So that is gonna be something that's just gonna be completely revolutionary to the, the gaming platform here. So again, you can clone your environment and you can actually create missions. So that is gonna be a lot of fun to do. Uh, the next thing that I wanna kinda show you guys about is the Battle School, which is one of my favorite areas of this platform. Uh, within the Battle School, you have your Media Center, which is gonna give you a lot more information about different technologies, tools, and things that you should know going into this game. So you are going to learn a lot about cybersecurity, but the Media Center just kinda lets you dive deeper 
into some of those different technologies and things like that by giving you links to different PDFs, websites, and videos. So they're giving you kind of that information there as well in the Media Center, and you get to check that out, of course. In the Game Room, they have different games that you can play. There's six different games. They are all a lot of fun. Uh, for instance, Tribute Loot is much like Jeopardy. You uh, pick one of the, the different questions there for you know whatever amount of dollars. If you get it correct, you win that money. If you don't, you lose that money, and that's a lot of fun. Uh, Port Flow is another really fun game that lets you learn about ports, what their numbers are, what they do, what they correlate to, and you're just kind of matching everything and putting up this diagram, and it's really actually a lot of fun. Um, so those are just a couple of the games I want to talk about. The Battle Room is probably my favorite part of uh, the Battle School because, it, as you can see here, you have like your Linux basic, your network technician, and your network analyst, and there's a couple more here. Uh, but this actually kind of gives you a mini mission, if you will, and it's teaching you, you know, some of the different core concepts of the Linux basics and how some of these different commands work and what you, why you would need to know them if you're looking to get into cybersecurity. So this one's actually a lot of fun. Uh, I've done this one before, and yeah, as you can see, here's you know how I did, how long I was actually in those missions for, and um, that this right here, the fact that I can actually see my history and how I did, that will help me because as I'm going through this stuff, as I'm learning it, as I'm trying to remember it, I can you know take away the hints so I, I'm not seeing the hints and I have to actually remember what these commands are so at, at some point you know I'll go back through this and I'll play it and I'll see if I could beat my score that's a great way to learn if you can challenge yourself and be excited about it and learn at the same time that that just makes things fun that makes learning fun so then we have assessments. Within the assessments, they have your network te technician, network analyst, system analyst. Uh, these are different assessment uh, courses that you can take to actually see how you're doing and how you are performing. So again, it's going to go through a bunch of questions. Uh, this one, for instance, is, you know, we're going to go through net network technician. What do you know about networking? Have you been learning from this platform? This is going to test your skills. So if you don't know something, obviously you're going to have to go back and start learning and start doing the, the different games and stuff so you can pick that stuff up. Uh, so as, yeah, as you can see here, I, I actually probably exited out of this one, so I failed it. But uh, here, again, within the network technician, these are the different things that uh, you'd be doing to basically see if you are qualified. And if you are qualified, you get that certificate that shows, yeah, you're qualified for that network technician type of role. You know those core concepts within that, that cybersecurity role. So again, this is just like a quick overview of the platform. We are going to do more live streams where we actually dive deep into these things and we'll actually have you as the viewer come in and uh, help me. You guys will actually answer a lot of the questions for me because some of you are going to know a lot more than I do about this stuff. I want to let you guys know about the live stream that's coming next week. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. We're going to do another live stream beforehand, hopefully this weekend one day, maybe even today, maybe right after I get off this right now. Who knows? We'll see. Um, if you guys have any comments or questions, you can hit me up in the comments below. If you are interested in playing this game, I'm going to put a link in the description to a Google form. Please go ahead and fill that out, and I'm going to get back to you, and I'll let you know more information about how you can play this game. That's all I got for you guys today, so as always, take it easy.